My friend Andy McCarthy posted uh, a three-pager at pjmedia.com yesterday on this whole business of us versus them and they, 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 how we're getting away with letting Obama appropriate this whole notion that the infrastructure is government, that somehow he owns the infrastructure. And by he, I mean government. Government does the infrastructure independent of the rest of us, and because they do that, everybody else succeeds. And Obama loves to talk about the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, as you people know, the Golden Gate Bridge, to me, is one of the top wonders of the world. I have been to the top of the South Tower. That I am stunned. I, I am still in awe of the, of the Golden Gate Bridge. I was in San Francisco in May, played the Olympic Club the site of the U.S. Open, three weeks before they open, Boys and Girls Clubs fundraiser tournament. Every time I'm in San Francisco, I take a car privately and I go down, I get, used to be able to go down to Fort Point, old Fort Point underneath the South Tower. Some days you can get down there, some days you can't because of TSA but and Homeland Security. But I try to get as close as I can to bridge and stare at it because I marvel. If that bridge was not there... I'm standing at old Fort Point. Somebody says, this is build a bridge here. I wouldn't know the first thing to do. I wouldn't know, uh, after it's designed, I wouldn't know construction-wise. What, what do you do first? I, I marvel that people could do that. The thing about the Golden Gate Bridge, and Andy wrote about this yesterday at PJ Media, the federal government did everything they could to stop the Golden Gate Bridge being built. They owned the land on both sides of the bay and they refused to sell that land for the longest time and when they did sell it they sold it to a state commission not to private developers and the delay building the golden gate bridge was profound and it ultimately ended up the private sector private developer by the uh, the name of ap giannini actually built the golden gate bridge he put in 1.7 1.7 million dollars. I put uh, it came in 1.7 million under budget. He put in his own money, the personal wealth of APG, and he came to the rescue. They built the Golden Gate Bridge without government, without union labor, without all. It came in 1.7 million under budget. The federal government didn't want it. The Department of Defense didn't want it, or whatever was the DOD back then. They th- it was a strategic area. They wanted to own the land because of the vulnerability to attack. They didn't want the bridge built. Here's Obama running around acting like government does all these wonderful things. Giannini is the Bank of America. A.P. Giannini was Bank of America. Which, by the way, is the name of the football stadium where Obama's accepting a nomination, and they're not going to call it Bank of America Stadium that night. Even So much for naming rights. They're going to call it Panthers Stadium or Panthers Field or something. i got to get a phone call in here. Yeah, we've only taken one. And Dawn's in there saying, why am I even here? I'm not mean. I'm just having fun. Joanne in Knoxville, Arkansas. Welcome to the EIB Network. Hello. Hello. Thank huh? you. You bet. Um, I just uh, understand how the critics and how the people are saying that what Obama said is being taken out of context. But, first of all, he's saying what they want to hear, and second of all, they don't seem to get it, and neither does he, that the roads and the teachers, we don't have those without the businesses and without the work and without exactly. the taxes. But, exactly. We don't have the roads and bridges without people earning money that's taxed in the first place to build the things. Well, if you think about Frontier Days, businesses were very successful without the government and without paved roads. Now, you know, that's a good point. It, 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 it goes back to, um, I forget, we played the sound, somebody. If, 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 if all you needed was a road in front of your business for it to be successful, everybody would have a successful business. This is, we're, we're, yet to, we're really listening to the words of a child. We're really listening to the words of a neophyte. You know, when when Sununu says he doesn't understand, to a certain extent... That's true, and I think it's his lack of understanding is what makes possible his resentment. He doesn't understand it. He and and be, he just thinks it's a golden goose that's always going to be there, immoral and unjustified by virtue of its own existence, and therefore 
the private sector, I mean, he can tax it forever. I, but I, I, he is ignorant. He's childlike about this. But that's what paves the way for him not liking it. Thanks for the call.